Ladies and gentlemen, as President and Vice-Chancellor of the University of Leicester, and by the authority of Council and Senate, I declare this congregation open. Please be seated. Distinguished guests, parents, families, and most importantly of all, graduates, good morning. We are here on a very special day, one of the most memorable of your lives, the culmination of years of education and the beginning of new careers or perhaps further study. You have worked and studied hard and you have succeeded. You've done your job, and now, as President and Vice-Chancellor, it's my job to welcome you to this degree congregation, where we formally recognise your achievement. You're graduating from a university ranked among the top 1% in the world, and you should be as proud of that as your assembled parents and loved ones are of you. As proud as those of us who've been charged with overseeing your research marking your essays or assessing your projects and watching your thoughts evolve. As you leave, you take with you a range of new skills. You can write dissertations, solve complex problems, work in teams, take on particularly testing exam questions, solve simultaneous equations and quote from philosophers. And as a result, you have some new letters after your name and these will give you the greater chance of the professional life that you seek. But what you've experienced is even deeper than that. Our purpose is to equip you not just with an education, but with something broader, with the spirit of intellectual inquiry, with a deep curiosity, and with the resilience and the resources to go out into the world and go a long way. You have the chance to make a difference, and there are certainly some challenges that your generation will have to grapple with climate change, population ageing, antibiotic resistance, the list goes on. Who would have guessed just a few months ago that the UK would be leaving the European Union? Or that Donald Trump would be in the White House? Or that Leicester City would have won the Premiership? Indeed, the bookmakers didn't expect it. If you'd put down a £10 bet on those three outcomes, you would have won £30 million. Pounds. We trust that the education you've received here will make you well-placed to deal with those challenges. Those who have taught you, some of whom are here today on the stage, are passionate about education. But they're also passionate about research, and they're world-famous because of it. You'll have heard, of course, of the discovery of the bones of King Richard III under a famous Leicester City car park, a discovery that might also have been worth a bet, as our archaeologists were confident before they began the work that the chances of finding the king were about a million to one. Quite surprising then that the very first hole they dug in that car park revealed some bones which turned out to be those of King Richard. But we're famous for many advances that span the full range of our academic disciplines. You may have picked up in the news over the last couple of days that Leicester's the only UK university involved in NASA's Juno mission, which has sent a probe over 600 million miles to Jupiter to capture close-up images of the planet, described as NASA's most difficult mission ever. And our scientists have helped build the probe which is now sending those pictures back. Our geologists have recently discovered a 430 million old fossil of a new species, which has been named in honor of Sir David Attenborough, who, of course, had his own childhood fossil collection right here on campus where he and his brother Richard Attenborough grew up. Some decades ago, his father, Frederick Attenborough, would have been standing here doing my job. This past year in particular 
has been one of momentous change for this university. We've just launched a new business school, which will be moving into an extension of our campus on London Road. We've secured £15 million from the government to build phase one of our first science park, which will be unique in the UK as it focuses on the space industry. We've just established our first international campus in Panjin, China, in collaboration with Dalian University of Technology, one of the top 25 of the 2,000 universities that there are in China. The first students will be recruited in September, and we hope, by steady state, to be teaching 10% of our students in China. And the popularity of our university here in the UK continues to rise. In 2016, we saw the biggest recruitment of students in this university's history. And we're on track, we hope, this year to beat that record. Finally, I should also mention that the university is enjoying a record-breaking year of philanthropic fundraising. We've seen an increase of between three and four hundred percent in philanthropic income over last year. This compares with an average rise for the universities in the UK as a whole of 23 percent. This includes thousands of gifts, some very small, from alumni and friends of the university. But there have also been some very significant gifts, including 2.8 million from Jimmy Mayer and his family for kidney research, and a recent £1 million gift from Leicester City Football Club. Another £2 million has come from a local charitable trust, and this has allowed us to launch a new foundation year for our medical degree programme. Sadly, medical education has traditionally been seen as a career for those from privileged backgrounds. 80% of medical students come from only 20% of schools in the UK. One quarter of medical students are from private schools, and 50% of secondary schools have never had a pupil apply for medical school. And we want to change this. There are bright children everywhere, even if their schooling has not provided them with the grades or the ambition to aspire to the medical profession. This gift will bring selected children from those schools to the university to study a foundation year, which will prepare them for full entry into the full medical program. Children who probably never imagined they would have a chance to study medicine at university. As you can tell, much is changing here at the university and we hope that you will continue to keep an eye on it, see how we're doing. You're graduating at a particularly exciting time as we look to the university centenary, which we will commemorate between 2018 and 2021. It was in 1918, following the dark years of World War I, that local residents in this city decided that they wanted to create a living memorial to those who'd fallen. We're the only university in the UK established in that way, and one of only two in the world. And it's reflected in our motto, ut vitam habiant, that they may have life. It was in 1921 that we recruited our first students into the university who went on to graduate, all nine of them. Things have certainly moved on. This week, we will see over 3,500 students crossing this stage. For all of those who are graduating today, I hope that you will be proud of your university and that you'll remember and reflect on its beginnings. There are inevitably going to be ups and downs in the years ahead, but if we've done our job right, if we've equipped you with the right skills and with the values of our university, you'll find your way through. We fully expect to be as proud of you in the future as we are today. I congratulate you on your degrees and on behalf of the University of Leicester, I wish you every success. Well done.
Will all graduands please stand? By the authority of Senate, I admit candidates both present and absent for the several degrees for which they are presented. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, as Head of the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities, I present the following candidates for their degrees. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Hilary Croden. <laughs> Stephanie Gordon. For the posthumous award of Doctor of Philosophy, Margaret Hanley, received by Meg Williams. <laughs> For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Hem Jamil. <laughs> Brenda Mortimer. Well done, Brenda. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Andrew Ollerton. Well done, Andrew. Congratulations. Well done. Yeah. For the degree of Master of Arts in Diplomatic Studies, Tagbo Ijukemi. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in English Local History and Family History, Keith Hanley. Well done, Keith. Congratulations. Well done. John Pullen. Congratulations, well done, well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in History, Matthew Zekavika. Well done, Matthew, congratulations. For the degree of Master of Arts in Human Rights and Global Ethics, Christina Bainic Belavic. <laughs> well done, Christina, congratulations, well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Relations and World Order, Paul Thomas Anthem. Congratulations, well done, well done. George Cheller. Well done, George. Congratulations. Elizabeth Farney. Well done, Elizabeth. Congratulations. Alexandra Hattie. Well done, Alexandra. Congratulations. Sean Heron. Well done, Sean. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Security Studies, Philip Hill. Congratulations, Philip. Well done. Omar Kabul. Well done, Omar. Congratulations. John Quinn. Well done, John. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Arts in Politics of Conflict and Violence, Ekutosiam Utulu. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. For the degree of Master of Science in Security, Conflict and International Development, Christoph Berthold. Congratulations, Christoph. Well done. Well done. Mark Wayne Dixon. Well done, Mark. Congratulations. Well done. Martin Ricks. Well done, Martin. Congratulations. Well done. Tadeus Samvika. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of postgraduate diploma in history, Aidan Weldon. Well done, Aidan. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in American Studies, Stephanie Alves. Well done, Stephanie. Very nice cheer there. <laughs> Akinto Miwa Fafuwara. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Luca Kish. Congratulations. Well done. Polly McComb. 
congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in American Studies with a year abroad, Lewis Ambury. Well done, Lewis. Congratulations. Well done. Georgina Ashley. Well done, Georgina. Tamsin Barber. Well done, Tamsin. Congratulations. Cameron Bonser. Well done, Cameron. Congratulations. Well done. Madeline Edwards. Well done, Madeline. Congratulations. Well done. Madeleine Grager. Well done, Madeleine. Congratulations. Max Longley. Well done, Max. Well done. Eleanor Martin. Well done, Eleanor. Congratulations. Well done. Joseph Matthews. Well done, Joseph. Congratulations. Aidan Mould. Well done, Aidan. Congratulations. Courtney Mower. Well done, Courtney. Well done. Miriam Prieva. Well done, Miriam. Congratulations. James Roberts. Well done, James. Congratulations. Well done. Isabel Rogers. Well done, Isabel. Congratulations. Anna Marie Saal. Well done, Anna Marie. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Contemporary History, Eve Ashton. Congratulations, well done, well done. Jack Brooks. Well done, Jack, congratulations. Sophie Clark. <laughs> well done, Sophie, well done. Eleanor Clifford. Well done, Eleanor, congratulations. Stephen Gibbs. Well done, Stephen, congratulations. Isabella Holmes. Well done, Isabella. Congratulations. Megan Jeans. Well done, Megan. Congratulations. Blaine Killeran. Well done. Congratulations, well done. Reese Langford Johnston. Congratulations, well done. well done. Harry Morris. Well done, Harry. Congratulations. Kira O'Connell. Henry Strevens. Well done, Henry. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History, Ruth Adcock. Well done, Ruth. Great cheer there. Olivia Ash. Well done, Olivia. Congratulations. Well done. Charlie Bacchus. Well done, Charlie. Congratulations. Well done. Imogen Barber. Well done, Imogen. Congratulations. Emily Barnes. Well done, Emily. Congratulations. Well done. Craig Batt. Well done, Craig. Congratulations. John Beatty. Well done, John. Congratulations. Meredith Bell. Well done, Meredith. Congratulations. Siobhan Bennett. Well done, Siobhan. Congratulations. Abigail Black. Congratulations. Vanessa Bruce. Well done, Vanessa. Congratulations. Holly Button. <laughs> well done, well done, Vito. Abasi Kabi. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Laura Carrington. Well done, Laura. Congratulations. Fiona Case. Well done, Fiona. Congratulations. Catherine Cassidy. Well done, Catherine. Well done. Jack Clark. Well done, Jack. Congratulations. Rebecca Clark. Well done, Rebecca. Well done. Elaine Clayland Awitty. Well done, Elaine. Congratulations. Reese Colley. Well done, Reese. Well done. Peter Connor. Well done, Peter. Matthew Crawley. Well done, Matthew. Congratulations. Jack Curtis. Well done, Jack. Congratulations. Henry Cutts. Well done, Henry. Congratulations. Well done. Gil Davis. Well done, congratulations. Well done. Shaquille Daw. Well done, Shaquille. 
Eleanor Day. Neve Dean. Jaipreet Deo. Chantelle Draycard. Jonathan Drake. Harriet Eagle. Rebecca Edwards. James Elias. Harriet Evans. Gina Fellows. Matthew Ferris. Alistair Fillingham. Esteban Fortin. Henry Furman. Oliver Garlic. Eleanor Giorgio. Callum Gibson. Rebecca Gillard. Christopher Gray. Thomas Green. Megan Grono. Kiara Groves. Amy Hayward. Samuel Hooten. Amy Hopes. Amelia Humphreys. William Hunt. Max Hurst. Marcus Joyce. Calpreet Kaur. Alexandra Kerrison. Kiri Keys. Sean Lane. Robert Leach. Imogen Long. Hugh Mabe. William Mahoney. George McCusker Bland. George MacDonald. Tom Moore. Reese Morrow. Benjamin Mower. Dale Mulderig. Rhoda Musa. Oliver Nash. Georgina Marie Nunn. Bethan O'Brien. Rebecca O'Brien. Amy Parfit. Callum Parker. Hazel Parkinson. Jack Pears. Andrew Permain. Dickon Perryman. Luke Pillar. 
Natalie Polly. Well done, Natalie. Well done. Alex Pollock. Well done, Alex. Belisa Prikulai. Jake Price. Jennifer Purdom. Connor Rainey. Natalie Rogers. Christopher Rogers. John Rowland. Connor Roxburgh. Daniel Ryan. Emilia Ryan. Well done, congratulations. Giles Saar. Congratulations, well done. Gabriele Schiavi. Congratulations, well done. Liam Sheridan. Emily Smith. Well done, Emily. Ryan Smith. Well done, Ryan. Congratulations. Laura Stankevichuti. Charles Stansfield. Well done, Charles. Alex Stavrou. Well done, Alex. Callum Stewart. Samuel Stewart. Sarah Taylor. Well done, Sarah. Congratulations. Bryn Thomas. Alexandra Thompson. Sophie Thompson. Sean Thurgood. Well done, Sean. Congratulations. Richard Tomlinson. Well done, Richard. Congratulations. Ross Tyree. Well done, congratulations. Lucy Unwin. Well done, nice to hear there. James Watts. Well done, James. Congratulations. James Whitby. Joshua Whitten. Well done, Joshua. Kelly Wilson. Well done, Kelly. Congratulations. Sarah Wood. Well done, Sarah. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History and American Studies, Jack Kluwer. Well done, Jack. Well done. Sophie Dinney. Matthew Goddard. Well done, Matthew. Congratulations. Lawrence Herbert. Well done, Lawrence. Well done. Joshua Matthews. Well done, Joshua. Kieran Moore. Well done, Kieran. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History and American Studies with a year abroad, Alicia Bacon. Well done, Alicia. Congratulations. Amy Baldock. Well done, Amy. Congratulations. Ross Baldwin. Well done, Ross. Congratulations. Verity Bowman. Congratulations. Well done. Amy Carpenter. Well done, Amy. Congratulations. Abigail Dawson. Well done, Abigail. Congratulations. Sophia Hall. Emma Heald. Charles Lemon. Dominic Madonna. Michael Powell. Holly Reeve. 
Jacob Thorburn. Francesca Tomlinson. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History and Archaeology, Abigail Button. Amy Edwards. Elinor Gagino. Ashley Goss. Isabel Moss. Alexandra Rickinson. Alice Thine. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics, Joshua Bayliss. Gemma Bellevo. Sarah Brook. Robert Collingridge. Georgina Daffin. Ali Duas. Zara Fennell. Ilya Fyodorov. Peter Fleming. Well done, Peter. Rebecca Forbes. Well done, Rebecca. Rebecca well done. James Hall. Well done, James. Well done. Cameron Harris. Well done, Cameron. Congratulations. Eleanor Hennelly. Well done, Eleanor. Congratulations. Kieran Hewitt. Well done, Kieran. Congratulations. Javier Caira. Shyam Kotecha. George Miller. Andrew Moss. Robert Noel. Michael Oatway. Joshua Pibworth. Ajira Pirani. Bradley Price. Joseph Pringle. Amy Robinson. Catherine Rowson. Jack Taylor. Hamza Teladia. Ferdinand Willems. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics with a Year Abroad, Benjamin Malai Hollow Shepherd. Sandriz Mazodilla. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History with a Year Abroad, Grace Chu. Ella Curtis. Katie Gumbrell. Simon Harbett. Laura Owen. Jack Saville. Mark Thompson. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Nardin Al Qadar. Suleiko Azad. Rebecca Bug. Malik Cham. 
Augustus Davidson. Congratulations. Well done. Beatrice Fowler. Well done, Beatrice. Congratulations. Pavin Hussein Patel. Congratulations. Well done. Seguiu Yank do Prado. Congratulations. Well done. Matthew Kavanagh. Well done, Matthew. Congratulations. Jessie Leticia Kirwito. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Wing Lee. Congratulations, well done. Holly McGrath. Well done. Congratulations. Georgia Mulder. Well done. Congratulations, well done. Blessing Obiora. Anne Marie Orridge. Well done, Anne Marie, congratulations. Doigu Seren. Congratulations, well done. Gregory Shaw. Well done, Gregory. Congratulations, well done. Rasheen Sheehy. Well done, Rasheen. Congratulations. Tamar Simmons. Congratulations, well done. Daniel Smart. Well done, Daniel. Congratulations. Well done. Anjay Sorufan. Well done, Anjay. Congratulations. Well done. Benjamin Swan. Well done, Benjamin. Well done. Marfine Silla. Congratulations. Well done. Laura Thomas. Well done, Laura. Congratulations. Georgi Todorov. Congratulations. Well done. Eleonora Tosin. Tasin Umar. Well done, congratulations. Mariam Vaidia. Well done, Mariam, congratulations. Well done. Rebecca Willoughby. Well done, Rebecca, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and History, Natalie Campbell. Congratulations, well done. Kai Chan. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Joshua Finch. Well done, Joshua. Congratulations. Nicole Hawkins. Well done, Nicole. Congratulations, well done. Nicholas Jackman. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. Kit Yu Liu. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Dominic Maudsley. Well done, Dominic. Congratulations. James Packer. Congratulations, well done. Matthew Peters. Well done, Matthew. Congratulations. Omar Salim Khan. Well done, Omar. Well done. Divya Sharma. Fei Wu. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and History with a year abroad, Thomas Batt. Well done, Thomas. Congratulations. Adam Moffat. Well done, Adam. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Wakea Akram. Congratulations. Well done. Harry Baker. Well, Harry, congratulations. Nicole Boahene Asoma. Well done, Nicole, congratulations. Well done. Faria Chowdhury. Congratulations, well done. Arva Gilby Jones. Congratulations, well done. Samia Huck. Well done, Samia, congratulations, well done. Samia Hersey. Alexandra Innes. Well done, Alexandra. Congratulations. William Jankowski. Well done, William. Congratulations. Well done. Catherine Jardine. Well done, Catherine. Congratulations. Patrick Lawton. Well done, Patrick. Congratulations. 
Karis Leaves. James McMaster. Well done, James. Congratulations. Daniel Moon. Well done, Daniel. Congratulations. Well done. Olivia Mashigo. Well done, Olivia. Congratulations. Thomas Robinson. Well done, Thomas. Congratulations. Suraj Samant. Well done, Suraj. Congratulations. Ayobami Sani. Well done, congratulations. Robert Scotton. Well done, Robert congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Politics and Economics, Adeluyi Ade Rogba. Congratulations, well done. George Bascom. Well done, George, congratulations. Well done. Pierce Bramley. Fabiha Chowdhury. Adrian Coker. Sonia Diol. Rian Elias. Thomas Forrester. Benjamin Hamer. Ishmael Hussain. <laughs> Sophie Hustleby. Well done, Sophie. Congratulations. Brandon Johnson. Well done, well done. Rohit Malhi. Congratulations, well done. Arthur Mansur. Well well Amir Nabi. Athea Kwasim. Big cheer, well, well done. Yi Zhang. Well done. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Politics and International Relations, Maria Salsi. Well done, Maria. Well well For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Politics and Sociology, Natalie Coltman. Abigail Hutchinson. To put it simply, Surinder Sharma has dedicated his life to making the world a fairer place. The formal record in the program suggests that, but a list of positions held does not reveal the personal and human qualities that Surinder has brought and continues to bring to the pursuit of what the American Declaration of Independence optimistically described as a self-evident truth, that all men are created equal. Where does this commitment to fairness come from? It can be detected at various points in his childhood and youth. Surinder was born in Kenya when that country was still a colony and by definition an unequal society, even if Harold Macmillan's winds of change were blowing across the empire. His father, who worked in the public service, sensed that decolonization might not mean complete equality for people of non-African origin. And in 1965, two years after Kenyan independence, he decided to migrate, choosing the UK over the alternative of India. This was fortunate for the UK. And by a further piece of good fortune, he had a friend in Leicester who met the Sharmas at the airport and brought them home with him. So it was that Surinder came to settle at the age of eight in the city he has made his home ever since, which he loves and to which he has given so much. 
England came as something of a shock, as it was to do for many subsequent arrivals from East Africa. Surinder had his first encounter with snow on that first day. His father went from a white collar job into a manual one in a foundry, and his mother had to find paid work, which she did at Fox's Glacier Mints. Their first home was a modest one, with the toilet down the garden. But Surinda flourished at school, both as a sportsman and academically. Unusually for someone of his background at the time, he shone in the humanities, particularly the study of history. As a student at the relatively new University of Kent, Surinda read law and provided a free legal advice surgery for local residents, a sign of things to come. It was also at Kent that he met his wife, VJ, when she visited a friend in Canterbury. That was the start of a long, successful marriage in which they have been equal and supportive partners, though VJ beat surrender in the race to receive an honorary degree on this stage. Back in Leicester after graduating, Surinder saw an advertisement for a complaints officer with the newly formed Commission for Racial Equality, CRE, using his legal knowledge to help people with individual cases of discrimination. Despite his youth, he was soon elected to the City Council and appointed as a magistrate. His path in life was set. We should pause here to consider how the statutory enforcement of equality was perceived 40 years ago. Whatever racial tensions may still exist in our society, the fact of legislation in this field is not seriously challenged. That was not the case in the 1970s. There was considerable suspicion about the powers of the CRE, such that Lord Denny, one of the country's most senior judges, argued that the CRE had created racial discord, comparing it to the Inquisition. That may have been a harsh representation of the CRA, it certainly was not, either then or later, Surinder's style. His pursuit of fairness, whether in relation to race, gender, religion, or sexuality, has always been diplomatic and persuasive, not autocratic. His philosophy is to inspire people to change, not to force them, to demonstrate that understanding other people, colleagues, customers, employees, or neighbors, and treating them justly is very much to everyone's benefit. One of the most impressive characteristics of Surinder's work is that he has successfully applied these methods to organizations with remarkably different purposes and cultures. While at the CRE, he was responsible for advising other local authorities, such as Haringey and Strathclyde, on best practice. He then moved to BBC TV as head of diversity, where his remit covered not just employment practice and harassment at work, but also program content. In his time at the corporation, the proportion of women in senior positions rose to 35%, and the methods adopted have been a model for other organizations. After five happy years at the BBC, he was headhunted by Littlewoods, then a major family-owned retailer with high street shops, mail order catalogues, call centers, and 40,000 employees. That was followed by a further dramatic change of culture at Ford Europe, where he faced the challenge of traditional confrontational labor relations and restrictive practices. Here again, his policy of persuasion, dignity, and respect won the day. Next came possibly Surinder's biggest challenge when he joined the Department of Health as its first national director for equality and human rights, responsible for these matters across the whole of the NHS. The sheer scale of that organization, one of the largest employers in the world and with massive numbers of users, inevitably prompts comparisons with the difficulty of turning oil tankers, with the added complication of political interventions. So Surinda would acknowledge that progress was slower than he wished, but he undoubtedly had a considerable impact deploying those skills and philosophy which had stood him in good stead elsewhere. He has continued to do similar work with the international pharmaceutical company Novartis. As a commissioner at the Equal Opportunities Commission, he chaired its legal committee. His active voluntary involvement in diverse organizations is too numerous to list, but includes UNICEF, the National Space Center, and the Leicester Racial Equality Council, 
as well as an honorary chair at this university. Last year, he was High Sheriff of Leicestershire, a role which he valued for the insights into the good that people in our community do without public recognition. All this reflects his energy and enthusiasm, the quality of his advice, and not least, the pleasure that people take in his company. By any measure, his has been an outstanding contribution to diversity and inclusion, both locally and nationally, and of service to Leicester and Leicestershire. Mr. President and Vice-Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and the Council, I present Surinder Mohan Sharma, that you may confer upon him the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. Congratulations, Surinder. Well done. Thanks so much for all your support. Thank you. President and Vice-Chancellor, Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, uh, Chair of the University Council, Chairman of the County Council, distinguished guests, friends, and the most important people here today, you, the graduates, your families, and friends. Good morning. I'm very honored and also very humbled to be, to be receiving this award from the University of Leicester especially honoured because it's been bestowed upon me by my hometown university. Leicester's been my home ever since 1965, when we arrived here as a family and settled here. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you all who are graduating here today from one of the top universities, both in the United Kingdom, but also in the world, as the Vice-Chancellor has alluded to a university that's made a pioneering and preeminent contribution in many different fields for nearly a hundred years, but also a city which is very unique and richly diverse. I hope both the university and the city will have made a huge difference to your lives as students here in Leicester. Your achievement today has been a culmination of many years of dedication, hard work, personal commitment in fulfilling your aspirations. I'm sure you're grateful for the support that you've received from the university, their academic, and all the other staff here. I'm sure you'll join me in paying tribute to all your parents, families, partners, and all those who have provided you with their unconditional support to ensure that you receive the best possible start in your life in fulfilling your ambitions. I'm sure that that support will continue to be there for you throughout your lives. I want to thank all those who've been around during my journey through life, those who've provided me with that unconditional love, emotional and other support in fulfilling my potential and my ambitions. My wife, Vijay, our daughter, Viba, our son, Sachet, my mother, Raksha, who's 87 and here today, my brother, Kamal, and his family, but also very close family and friends who are all present here today. As you graduate here today and begin the next chapter in your lives, I'd like to leave you with some of my thoughts. Aim high. Nothing's impossible for you if I, as a son of a working-class migrant family, can attain roles in many different organisations, both in the UK and Europe, so can you. Enjoy what you do. I've always been passionate in what I've done and enjoyed every moment that I've been able to do that. As you enter the world of work, you'll come into contact with many people from all backgrounds. Adopt and promote the values of treating people fairly, but also with dignity and respect. That'll take you far. You may not think so at the moment, but when you look back at your own life 
your years at university as a student will stand out as one of the best experiences of your life. So stay connected and support the University of Leicester so that it may provide others with the same opportunities and life chances that you were privileged to receive here at Leicester. Thank you very much. Three members of the University of Leicester Chorus, Bethany Hill, Holly Mulvey, and Liam Carai, will now perform in Italian Suave sia il vento from Così fan tutti by Mozart. Two young men boast to an old realistic philosopher of their girlfriend's love and devotion. The philosopher proposes a test of the girl's fidelity by their partners going away and returning in disguise to seduce their own girlfriends. In this scene, the girls and the philosopher say goodbye to their lovers with the words, on your voyage, may the winds be gentle. As you leave Leicester, we wish you the same. Ignore. 
Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, as head of the College of Medicine, Biological Sciences and Psychology, I present the following candidates for their degrees. Carolyn Echia. <laughs> Hafsa Ali. Usman Ashfaq. Kirjan Babla. Christiana Brink. Laura Buchanan. Harry Kane. Smaragda Christou. Sophia Christou. Emma Cowan. Henrietta Croak. Amy Dickens. Cynthia Emmanuel. Benjamin Evans. Chloe Featherston. Jody Ferguson. Emma Gibbs. Amy Godelman. Nancy Howarth. Samantha Hutchinson. Oscar Khan. Chloe Langley. Kieran Lewin. Oliver Lomax. Charlotte McGliston. Alexandra Parker. Rachel Richardson, Jonathan Rogers, Hashvi Shah, Riddy Shukla, Shauna Sylvie, Lydia Smith, Ramia Subarathiran. Sarah Sutherland. Maria Mirisini Cisioni. Sarah Wilkie. Jack Willows. Joshua Ray Mitchell. And Anna Zadell. for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with a year in industry. Alice Greenway. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Biochemistry, Sultan Ahmed. Catherine Aliband. Yasmin Alpdogan. Ishak Altaf Haroun. <laughs> Chloe Baker. Jordan Breslin. Edward Brown. Justin Dankwa. Joshua Fleming. Catherine Gregory. Charlotte Gray Wilson. <laughs> Razyida Haji Rahmat. <laughs> Kelsey Hopin. <laughs> Nisha Kataria. <laughs> Amanpreet Kaur. <laughs> Shilpa Kuma. Samuel Lee. 
Josephine Mensha Kane, <laughs> Mohammed Mia, <laughs> Orokhani Obi Uwethbi, <laughs> Sarah Pallet, <laughs> Serena Patel. Samuel Resendez, Shona Sibley, Harriet Sorrell, Thomas Strachan, Amuch Ichikwu Oghaunu, Man Cheng Vong. Jodie Withall and Madeline Wynne. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Biochemistry with a year abroad, William Bowers. And Amy Briggs. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Biochemistry with a year in Industry, Rosie Waters. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Genetics, Nikita Dillon. Toby Evans. Jordan Francis. Kieran Hamilton, Vivian Lee, Cicely Proudlock, Claire Smith, Hannah Stafford, Poonam Thacker, Oliver Thompson, Yim Ji Yang. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Genetic, with a year abroad, Andrew Joby. For the degree of Bachelor of, of for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Microbiology, James Emerton. Oki Kuala Wa Fagbemi. Sidra Rahman. And Alexandra Wood. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Microbiology with a year in Industry, Declan Grucock. and Tina Mystery. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Neuroscience, Al-Fahad Abdul Mum Munini. Manpreet Atwal. Hamil Barzak. Kishan Chadwala, <laughs> Fatmata Darami, <laughs> Jade Sola Dinakin, <laughs> Natasha Hopwood, <laughs> Kerhorn, <laughs> Jennifer J. Kuma. Asad Malik, Colette Milburn, Ramandeet Munger, Sepang, Anna Parsons, Vithushika Ragunathan. Shahjia Shahid 
and Ellie Sturmey. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Physiology with Pharmacology, Sharon Aid BC. Simra Ahmed. Kate Athaid. Orelua Bakare. Naomi Ball. Ross Baxter. Guan Chan. Mohammed Chowdhury. Anna Collins. Joshua Cook. Chiara de los Santos. Bethany Griggs. Sophia Jabin. Laura Jones. Tharshan Karanakaran. Thomas Kipton. Charles Crookso Collins. Lorene Lambert. Che Yon Lee. Jerry Lumumpa. Lauren McKay. Ashvati Nair. Yulin Osei Kufo. Anisha Patel. Monica Ranai. Samuel Rose. Shakina Sabir. Mohammed Siddiqui. <laughs> Natalija Sakanik. <laughs> Casey Shortall. <laughs> Philippa Wade. <laughs> Lydia Wales. <laughs> Hope Weir. <laughs> and Bethan Yap. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Zoology, Zoe Blinko. Hebe Carmichael. Katie Dool. Joseph Ham. Samuel Harvey. Shama Johns, Lucy King, Rebecca Madden, Zachary Mason, Michael Mills, Simon Penny, Oliver Seabrook, Hannah Sellers and Jack Walker. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Zoology with a year abroad, Bethan Mason. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry, Emma Ali. Immaculata Lucius. <laughs> Angie Alafalaji. <laughs> Ellie Arnold. <laughs> Sapana Badari. 
Alexandra Brown. <laughs> Jun Chen. <laughs> ha Chu. <laughs> Amelia Cotterill. <laughs> Lauren Inchcoon. <laughs> Enanga Echo. Bethany Hill. <laughs> Olivia Hill. <laughs> Nicole Hilton Davis. <laughs> Mark Adam Kellerman. <laughs> Bethia Kerwin. <laughs> Manchu Ma. <laughs> Tasnin Muhammad. Natalie O'Connor. <laughs> Elizabeth Ogan Bayo. <laughs> Risha Parker. <laughs> Miriam Patel. <laughs> and Hannah Smith. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry with a year in Industry, James Freed and Hannah Mizen. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Genetics, Lilas Albushi. Aisha Halhumudi. Laura Blanco. Kate Brown, Christopher Chapman, Mohammed Husseini, Reem Ismail, Claudia Maiselli, Dinesh Murugathasan. Panagiota Pagan Opalu, <laughs> Timia Rambax, <laughs> Sarah Salim, <laughs> Thrivaka Sri Kandakuma, <laughs> Benita Thambi Pillai. Eleanor Whale and Catherine White. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Genetics European Union, Anita Wallensick. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Microbiology, Sasha Devlin. Zainab Kote, Adiobi Ojiakor, Kalesha Patel, and Annika Wojnicka. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Physiology, Amber. Ahmed Issa, Deborah Albert, Muhammad Ali, Tanisha Amahwe, Thomas Ashcroft, Jack Bishop. Louisa Davis, Jovan Preet Daliwal, Chiara Ellis, Dominic Foster, Marie Sophie Gom, 
Nitika Gupta. Bumika Hirani. Kalima Juwaid. Rebecca Johnson. Harvey Kane. Mashuda Kandakar. No Un Nisa Malik. Alex Manku. Fatma Mohammed. Lauren Morgan. Moen in Uol Ajezu Oji. Ma Arias. Shivani Patel. Elena Pullman. Grace Pym. Radhika Rana. Eden Richardson. Harry Rostron. Abdulalia Salah. Victoria Scott. Azima Soma. And Ka Yim. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Physiology with a year abroad, Olivia Speed. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Ravina Singh. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Biochemistry, Thalassi Jayadeva. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry, Aisha Aladi. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Jonathan McGrath. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Physiology with Pharmacology, Latiqua Bartley. And Nirula Shitharan. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical, in medical Psychology, Hannah Ajia. Mr. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you this academic colleague who has been nominated for a University Distinguished Teaching Fellowship. In recognition of his innovative approach to the development of teaching within the School of Biological Sciences, as well as an outstanding contribution to the student learning experience across the institution in the areas of assessment and feedback and quality assurance. Dr. Colin Hewitt from the Department of Genetics. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, congratulations.
Ceremonies like these have been performed by universities across the world for centuries, and it will be a milestone that marks a new chapter in your lives. Today, you enter the worldwide community of more than 180,000 Leicester alumni, and your continuing success in years to come will give us occasion for pride and celebration. Enjoy the rest of this memorable day, which we up here on stage are honoured to have been part of. Carry the pride of Leicester with you. Thank you. I now declare this congregation closed. Thank you.